Hello web devs and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to create the CSS hover effect from scratch in just a few easy steps. I'm Robson Moniz, a full stack web developer freelancer with a couple of years of experience. In this video, I will teach you step by step how to create the CSS hover effect we start you right now. First of all, let's create our index CSS, okay? And also our style.css. We're gonna use this to style our HTML. Let's create our boilerplate. And here we're gonna type our title, okay? This one is gonna be card hover effect. Now let's go to our body. Here is gonna be very simple. We're going to have a big container, okay, as a div, and inside this one, we're going to have our card, okay, let's create a card, and the card is going to have the face, to face, okay, so face and face one, let's create our content, dot content, our content is going to be a picture, okay, img, let's create Okay, HTML5, HTML here, okay, and let's have here our H3, HTML, all right, it's done, the first, the first phase is done, now let's, let's follow to the second phase, okay, let's have phase, phase two, Inside this one, we're going to have the, also our content. And inside this content, we're going to have our paragraph. Okay, I'm going to copy this one from this text here. I'm going to show you what is HTML, okay? And we're going to also have a link. Point to nowhere, and the text is going to be read more. So that's it, we have our first card. We're gonna have three cards in this project, so the first one is great. All we have to do, we're gonna copy this one and paste, okay, let's copy this, okay, and paste two more times. Let's change here the image, it's gonna CSS out CSS and also here H3 is gonna be CSS okay let's copy the, the text here it's gonna be another text this one talking about CSS of course here is gonna be JavaScript out also JavaScript our a3, also JavaScript here, okay? Let's copy our text again, simple like that. You can put it wherever you want, you can use a lot of Ipsum and create the text, okay? But I like to this way because we are really talking about JavaScript. And here it is, we have here our three cards. Of course, we need to style this one using CSS. That's what we're gonna to do next, okay? So now let's tag our HTML using CSS. Okay, first of all, let's create our link. It's gonna connect our CSS to our HTML, and let's grab the body, okay? Margin zero, padding also zero. Let's give it a height. The background is going to be black. And display flex. Okay. Let's put the content in the, in the center. And choose a font family. It's going to be consolas. Now let's tag our container. Let's give it a size one, 
1000 pixels. Position is going to be relative. Display also flex. Display concave, space between, and we have the result here. Now let's grab our container card. Position relative and cursor pointer. Now target our container card dot face. Okay. Let's give the size. It's going to be three pixels. 300 pixels by 200 pixels. Let's give a transition effect here too. And now let's target our phase one. Remember that you have two phases here in this project phase one and phase, phase two. Okay. Let's give a background of 3D trim. Display is going to be also flex. Let's just fire our content. And let's give us a Z index of one. Copy and paste and tag to our phase two. The phase two will have the paragraph and the link, okay? It's gonna be a button. Background is gonna be white. Display is also flex. Just like content center. Align items also center. Let's give it some padding. 20 pixels is okay. Box size in border box. And very important here, we are gonna have uh, this box shadow, okay? Let's choose black here. As, as you can see, we have already a nice effect here on the, on the right. Now let's type up paragraph dot content dot paragraph. Let's give a margin and padding of zero. Let's copy and paste this one and let's, let's start our, our link. This is going to be a button. So let's give a margin of 2580. Display inline block. Text decoration none. So we don't have that in the line. Font size of font weight, 900. Color is going to be a black, okay. Padding, because it's a button. Any border, one PC, solid, black. Now let's give a hover, a hover effect. As you can see, it's working. Okay, nice. Now let's grab our content and give uh, opacity because you're gonna have some hover effect on these two. Okay, so opacity dot two and transition. 0.5 seconds, okay? Let's copy this one, paste it here, and add the hover effect. Opacity is gonna be back to one, okay? So it's working. Our picture here is too big, so we have to give it the right size. Okay, let's start our picture here. Let's give a size of 100 pixels. It's much better now. Now let's target our H3, the one that's under our picture. Let's give some margin. Padding zero. And the color is gonna be white, okay? Text align, center. And let's give it a nice font size of 1.5 EM. Now let's take care of our hover effect with transforming, translate, let's take care of the position in y direction, okay. Let's copy this one and create the hover. Let's copy this one and change it to zero, okay. 
and also change the color. Once you hover over the element, it's going to change the position and the color. As you can see, it's working. Let's do something similar to the, to the face tool. Transform and translate minus 100 pixels. Okay. Let's copy this one and create the hover. Let's tap it here, hover. And let's cha just change this one. Right now is minus 100 pixels. Let's, let's set it to zero. Okay. So that's it. We have finished our project and you see everything is working nice. Okay. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.